What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Frank Sanchez, Efe Ajagba. Frank Sanchez pulls out a win against Efe Ajagba amongst the heavyweight, def heavyweight fighters. Frank Sanchez defeated Efe Ajagba unanimous decision in Saturday's co-main event to remain and to retain his heavyweight belt and undefeated record. The two men took defensive approaches and did not throw many punches through the early part of the fight, but near the end of the seventh round, Sanchez landed a clean shot and knocked Ajagba down in the center of the ring. It brought the crowd earlier, booed in, 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 in the inaction to its feet. Frank Sanchez uh, landed a series of right hands and Efe, he threw a right hand that, that stopped Efe in his tracks. Efe looked like he was taking a knee. He started to squat down and out of nowhere came an uppercut from Hades from Frank Sanchez dropping Efe Ajagba. Sanchez continued to be the aggressor through the end of the bout, winning unanimous decision. Let me counterpunch. Um, I was going for Frank Sanchez. I really wasn't sure on the strategy that each fighter will use. We just know the reputation that Effie has of being a knockout artist, of being the boogeyman, the young boogeyman in the heavyweight division, you know, the Nigerian nightmare, you know, or the night roller, as he calls himself. But I didn't know how that was going to do. I know Frank. Uh, I respect Frank. I know he has a uh, very, uh, very respected boxing skills okay but he's also been untested so we didn't know where that was going to go we know he has punching power we know he has speed we know he's aggressive and we know that he's training with canelo with the reynosos over there so i knew there was a good chance that he was going to learn a lot of things from that camp that was going to help him tonight or last night and absolutely it came to pass uh, Frank Sanchez was too quick for Effie. Effie seemed slower. He wasn't accustomed to that type of speed. Most importantly, those type of counters and reflexes from Frank Sanchez. And I have to remind people, speed is power. Okay, when you have speed and you can get to your target and you have good defense, a lot of times that's all you need because that's a huge part of boxing, uh, your, your boxing IQ. Okay, so uh, Frank showed that tonight. Efe looked slow. He looked like he didn't know really what to do. He landed a couple shots, but those shots wasn't enough. Okay. Frank Sanchez did get nailed with some shots, but hey, he wasn't really hurt. He, in fact, he started showboating towards the end of the fight, really towards the middle of the fight. He started showboating, you know, and showing his classic, you know, stutter step, you know, um, and he proved that there is levels to this game, despite your reputation, despite your knockout, you know, phobia to other fighters. You still have to beat those guys to be the be that guy. And Frank Sanchez is that guy that's ascending to the next level. And it was a great fight. The knockdown put the stank on it. OK, and I'm glad that he, you know, got that knockdown. And it, again, it just shows you that everyone has punching power when you come to the heavyweight division. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Frank Sanchez beating F.A. Ajagba, giving him his first loss of his career by unanimous decision. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.